Pasha Paro, YNS7. Thank you for tuning. Got Michael back with us today. Michael, I want to talk about some things. <laughs> Hi, Pasha. The man, the myth, the legend, the artist. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it took us a while to get together today, but uh, we got it finally because we care. Got to put it out there. Got to get the content out there for the people. Exactly. So piggybacking off our last discussion. Yes. Systems. We When we have a system, it let's take a look and see what actually system means. Let's just go like that. So system, the etymology of system is the whole creation. 1619. The whole creation, the universe. Arrangement. Right? Yeah. Organized whole, a body. Mm -hmm. And then we know that the body could be any number of things from this individual to the corporation, right? To the yeah. nation. Yeah. The state. So to the religion, religion or whatever, you know, it could be everything. Any anything that's I think so I define it as anything that's bigger than a tribe. Yeah. So we got the definition on the screen. Anything bigger than a tribe. And let's let's look at the hierarchy of controls today. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me throw that on the screen real quick here. The hierarchy of controls. And in the hierarchy of controls, we have basic PPE, right? Least effective. Then they have administrative controls, engineering controls, substitution, and then finally, elimination. So I want you to take a moment and give us a brief intro to systems collapsing. And then I'm going to take it and go into each section briefly, spend a few minutes on it, and look at the individual how how these individual components of the hierarchy of controls align with a system and it's collapsing. So introduce mm -hmm. us to your perspective of a collapsing system. In, in your no. home country, you were mentioning something about Holland as well, too. Yeah, yeah. Holland, for example, it's, it's when the system, and this, you know, I, I'm doing this off, off the cuff. I see a system collapsing the moment it doesn't serve its purpose that it originally was designed for. Mm -hmm. So when a system, we create a system to avoid homelessness and then we can't fulfill that promise because there's either too many homeless uh, or the effort, the um, uh, administration to to administer money or help costs more in human effort, not only money, but human effort, than actually the reward of making people having homes is. So, so for example, we say, you and I have a garden. And when you and I have a garden, there's no problem. We say, hey, I want to do it Monday to Friday. And you said, hey, I want the weekends. Uh, or we change it, or we just call each other. No problem. There's no effort in organizing the, that garden, being in that garden, right? Mm -hmm. Now, your family and my family says, I want to use that garden too. And we are good guys. We say, come on in and whatever. And all of a sudden, we have 100, 100 people to, to want to be in that garden. Now, you can't just call each other. You need to have a schedule. So all of a sudden, that overhead, the organization, the con organizational control to satisfy the people. And this shows very well with a garden because all of a sudden, a fun thing, you know, to use a garden to, to hang out, to, to plant trees or, or to, to just, just be in a garden and, and look at the flowers becomes a headache because you have only certain hours. You don't know if you feel good in this hours to go be in that garden. So you have to, if it's rain or shine, you have to use that garden from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. And you see already just by a simple thing of this, 
how we create problems that because the human effort to make this work, which is our third superpower of adaptability, is completely exhausted. We we, we need to really complete, uh, 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 you know, um, concentrate and saying, okay, 3.30, 3.30 to 4.30 on Friday, that is my time to use the garden, if I want to or not. Before, if, we, if I had the time, if I don't go, it doesn't matter, I can go tomorrow. But now I don't. And here we come to the time issue that this time stealer, because what we have with sales and, and, and services now is that we have so many services and goods that we it pivoted to we are incapable to find those goods because we don't have the time. It's not that we could find them if we are hours and hours on the internet. And, and I think that is a fundamental problem with all system when they get too big, you know? So, so, so you have to add in some measure of control. And I'm gonna flash the, the etymology of the word control on the screen real quick, yeah. which is to check or verify. So um, on the, on the, producer side you want to check and verify how the demographics you're after are moving what they like how to stimulate them how to get their attention and then okay. when, as you were speaking from the consumer side you want to have some checks or ways to verify you know how much time you're investing if you need to spread that time amongst multiple uh, tributaries yeah. correct yeah uh-huh yes and it's extremely, I think it's it's be becoming too complicated and it takes too much. What well, I would say, or you, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I share everything with my families, let's say. But I'm not willing to, to participate in a constructed, controlled environment where only on Friday between 3.30 and 4.30, I can use that, 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 that garden. And it's, you, you got to look at it, the garden, because that's the easiest thing. There's no, uh, and that's everywhere. And that's, the, it becomes too hard. Like you get a job, right? It takes you an hour to get to the job. It's, it's, so that's why homeworking is great. So hybrid and stuff is, is, is actually a human potential explosion because all of a sudden we don't have to, we can stay balanced because if I'm stressed out already to get a, 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 an hour to work, and then go to work exhausted already. Yeah. I, you know, humans cannot deliver if they're not balanced, if they don't get sleep, if they don't get uh, relaxation, if they don't joke around, they can't really function. They need to have that. And you just need to look at, uh, at, uh, at nature, uh, every, every animal plays with each other. And, and, and you, it, it, it needs to be fun. Work needs to be fun. And that's why I always tell everybody, if you do a job for money, and sometimes you have to, but if you do a job for money, go in the money business. Which if 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 you I'm gonna be a doctor because I make a lot of money, then it's stupid. Then then rather you know go in the money business, make the money there. Why would you do a, a, a being a doctor? If you say, man, all I want is being a doctor, that's a different story. See, it's all the perspective, right? The perspective, perspective of how we look at things. Mm -hmm. And that makes it, makes it hard or, or easy. I mean, being alive is hard by definition. It's, 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 it is every living being has challenges. Look at nature. So that's some good points. Everything can be observed in nature. And let's go back to this hierarchy of controls real quick. Yeah. Um, the bottom one, PPE, that's normally like called per personal protective equipment, right? So we want to translate that term to protect the actual worker. So in this case, so let's just say we're we're talking about protecting the human individual. And yeah. you're talking about how humans can't give any more to the systems to survive. So how does how does one protect themselves from giving too much to the system awareness listen to, to this podcast because once you're aware that you're a man 
there's no question anymore then we will act accordingly yeah i mean obviously man can be different but it is a man you're a woman you act accordingly you go in the woman's stall you know uh you do certain things that women do and you do certain things that men do there is no definition of of uh how to be it's just an awareness we not we are not discussing gravity gravity is here that's a fact mm. we don't have to discuss it and say okay let's see pasha how great it is no having no gra gravity we don't need to discuss that because we can we can influence that we can influence uh we can system influence it and make ourselves another another uh sex uh if we want or not it's never gonna be the right thing because otherwise transsexuals would be allowed in sports and they say oh i just make myself a transsexual and play in women's sports and then i'm winning uh in the just, system it doesn't work to blur them lines now yeah yeah so so we we want so what you are you are and if you're even a transsexual you are a transsexual and that's it but in systems men and women are defined and that's what gets us into trouble that's why we are fluid. We have, humans are fluid, and that's why we can't separate sex either. And and I, I think the only way to protect ourselves is the awareness, because one thing you can't do as human, if you're not aware of it, you can't blame that woman, that that human. If a human doesn't know that he's hurting people, and he's not aware of that, when he says certain words or says something, then you can't blame him or say you're a racist. If he has never heard it a different way, you know, uh, you can blame him. If he knows it and, and and he's aware of it and you've talked to him and he does it, it's a different story. It becomes a totally different story. So the awareness is, I mean, do you think if we were aware, we would allow that 80,000 soldiers in Ukraine die? Or that, do you think there would be racism if we we are aware that it's about humans and not about race how you appear you know it's not because you're homosexual you're you're black you're you're green you're whatever if we are aware of that it's about human and humans are inclusive because the zebras doesn't say oh you know i don't want to be with zebras i'm going to hang out alone it doesn't it just doesn't we are always drawn to the the whole you know and and the awareness is about the awareness I think I think within that there's always going to be the infinity uh, factor on on any um, point you expand in in time and space. So there's going to be the population that are once they become aware, they become conscious and, and they act yeah. upon their consciousness. There's going to yeah. be others that become aware and they actually are addicted to the desire uh, despite the awareness. So they're still going to act that out in some way, shape, or form. Um, what I think we're dealing with now, we're getting into the next tier where yeah. it's administrative controls. And when it's on this display here, it's again, this is speaking about, you know, jobs and structure, yeah. workplace yeah. and stuff like that. But we can easily use this observation of nature in the workplace to transition into nature in life as a whole. And now what we're doing where it labels change the way people work is like you're mentioning changing the way people think or view or have their oh. perspective of their environment, their own actions and how they play a part with each other through osmosis. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, you were speaking about the hybrid workplace coming soon and corporations are going to have to do a lot of, a lot of switching from that point just to adapt with the changing environments. Like you said, you got social, you got political, yep. You, it's going to be a more creative thinking environment now, upsell, upskilling, digital economy demands, all kinds of stuff is changing that wasn't in existence 20 years ago. So yeah. when you hear people say, oh, this is how we've been doing it for the last 20 years, you kind of got to <laughs> see a disconnect there, right? Yeah, it's a total disconnect because we are fluid. Like I said before, I always say that we are fluid, we are fluid individuals. And what does nature do? And again, I come to that because I want to give your viewers that you can solve things when you just look at nature. Nature has no mistakes. 
it it is just is what it is. So mm-hmm. it constantly changes. It constantly adapts. So the story, I don't know if I said in the last episode, the story about when when we built cities like Las Vegas or whatever out of the of the, of the uh, bottom, and all the the natural protective agencies come. Oh, you can't because we lose the falcon, we lose the hawk, and whatever. And when you look in New York, there's falcons in, your, in New York just in the high-rising buildings. They use it instead of trees, and they're hatching and they're healthy. And they and and first they flew against the the, the high rises. They really killed themselves and something. But now you see all them birds flying around like crazy, and they're fine because he, uh, nature always adapts. They did Chernobyl, the the nuclear reactor burned up. You look at, at at pictures on Google now. It's just grown over. It, it, the Mayans killed themselves, the humans. It just it's 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 lost. The city is lost in the rainforest, and then people have to go with infrared and see it, and then they excavate it and say, "Oh my God, the, there's a city there." So nature always adapts, and human need to adapt too, and need to uh, and they have the awareness. Nothing is static. If it that's the problem when when you hold on on the static, because the system says, and this is the blindness of that we every human has because we are born for generations into systems, you're born into a hospital, so and then you get a religion whatever. So when you're born into systems, it's it's you know loose promises. We take care of you. We give you insurance. When the insurance uh, agency doesn't have the money anymore, what does it do? It changes this, the 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 the, uh, the structure of insurance, and all of a sudden you you pay more or you get less for what you insure, and it mm-hmm. keeps going up. The, the whole remortgaging is 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 a, is is a, a big blinding thing. You remortgage your house. Why would anybody remortgage your house when they when it's not a business to remortgage it? Just to help you, I mean, it's 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 a lie. It's like saying, "Hey, we take care of you," and that you remortgage your house, and, and somebody has to pay for that. It's not like all of a sudden you pay a couple hundred dollars less per month. Who's gonna pay it? Where it's somewhere at the end or at the beginning, or you get more or less out. Somebody has to pay for that, right? And because that's how the system works, the financial system. Every System is based on financial principles. Not that finances are bad, but their their function is more, better, faster. And nothing is saying, oh, less, smaller, worse. I mean, no, that doesn't exist. It it has to. And this is where the the dissonance comes between organic humans that, that always change. And static systems, they always want to have more because in in uh, in in nature you have seasons. Uh, we yeah. sleep. Everything uh, is a cycle. It's a cycle. It's a different cycle. So you have two harvesters. I just heard this today. The trees are all talking to each other, like out interconnecting, and they say we're gonna get, let go of acorns every two years. And the reason they find out now. Why are all the trees every two years letting go of all the acorns or three years? They don't, they don't have that out yet, what the interval is. Mm-hmm. And they get rid of that because if the animals, the boars and the deer eat the stuff, when they, when, they, when they throw out everything every two or three years, they they can't eat all of them. And that is their survival. They can't eat all the acorns. There's so much food there, they can't eat it. Mm. And that will and that will allow them and that will allow them the trees to 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 make more trees and have baby trees. Give them a better and chance of survival and survival, exactly. And and if there is too much eating, they trees hold back the acorns. So the the deers are hung, uh, hungering out, hungering out, die of hunger in in the winter. So you don't need a hunter to, to regulate your forest uh, animals. They just give less, and when they're less, they're not as fertile and whatever, and they just hold off for three years. All the all the wild boars, you know, and 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 deers die. Boom! Then they come out, out and they will survive, and that's survival of the species. Yeah, and they and they probably go and and in actuality, they probably 
the deer and the wild boar can move around. So what's going to happen yeah. is they're waiting for them to leave the area. <laughs> yeah. So like the trees exactly. are talking to each other. Like, okay, now exactly. the clear. Go ahead, drop them now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but there, there's an intelligence we don't even understand, but exactly. we are looking so arrogantly. Oh, we know all. We, we know nothing. We You always have to go that you know nothing. You know system knowledge, which is very temporary. It's just, you know... Uh, I mean, they give they give women cigarettes in in maternity wards because you know the whole psychology uh, system said that women because they are more emotional they're hysterical. That you know a, a woman had their period or whatever, and it's like oh my god, these these women are hysterical. So when they get babies and have you know pains or whatever, oh just, just let him smoke in a maternity ward. So it's it's crazy. It's it, it's just totally crazy. Okay, so we're at the we're at the ten minute mark here. I want to get through this last few here real quick. So yeah. the engineering controls here mm -hmm. break it break it down to isolate people from the hazard. That kind of is like you know when they when you was talking about how they when they first put up the skyscrapers, the birds were flying into yeah. buildings and stuff, you know, yeah. and then they they became adapted to the new environment. Exactly. But that actually still is the imbalance that you're speaking of. So it still had an effect on the local ecosystem by paving all that, what would have been lush, livable environment and creating, yeah, places they could roost, but not necessarily thrive and survive because they got to go somewhere else to actually live their life. And then they may come back to the skyscraper. It almost yeah. turned them into humans because now they go out exactly. to work yeah. and then they come back home. To mm -hmm. the skyscraper nest, right? Yes. Just because yes, they were I, in the, the human environment, they became more, they became less nature and more human. Or they, more they just said, okay, wise. there's no trees, but I have to, you know, I have to survive. I have to procreate. Species has to survive. I mean, they are thinking that. They just say, hey, there's no trees. What the hell do you do? Yes. Let me see if I can build a nest here on that sky, skyscraper. Yeah. And if they say, okay, that, you know, I, oh, I fly into a, uh, into the shadow of myself in a, in a glass, in a, in a, in a mirrored glass, I need to, I need to be aware of that, you know, <laughs> and, and, and they adapt and they, and they adapt the next generation that doesn't because they learn flying in skyscrapers and they learn the difference between a skyscraper and, and, and nature as so an open air. And they learn that intuitively you know uh i heard today that that uh 10, 000, 000 variations crows there's certain crows they eat the acorns and they hide them also they like a lot of people hide them. and they can recall ten thousand places to the inch where they hide where they hide uh an acorn wow. Ten thousand, and I, I mean we think we know everything look at that yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Let's let's go. To the I couldn't. Next one here. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember one. If, if I had one, it would be hard to remember. You know. Well, here we go. Substitution, which is replace the hazard. So I guess if you if you're burying ten thousand of them, I mean you're gonna good chance you're gonna remember where most of them, some of them are. <laughs> yeah, I I do. They find ten thousand different things. They have the ability to find them. That's why they call crows the the monks of the sky. Yeah, yes, I, I didn't you. realize. Yeah. Oh, okay, the hawk, hawk of the, the moth of the sky. So now, now, how does this refer to the people in substitution? Because that's going to bring us to the point where you start to look at the systems going to make humans become the problem because of the inconsistencies and exactly. uh, cycles and emotions and feelings, and it's yep. going to say, "Hey, look." We have to get rid of humanity if we want to be most efficient in this "quote unquote" system. Yeah, and Marion Williams. Intelligence. Exactly, and Marion Williamson wrote an absolutely amazing article about this and said, "Systems find humans as a nuisance," and that's that's what we talk. That's our whole what we talk about. It's it's like we can't submit to a creation that we created. We can't, you know, I'm, I'm creating a doll. And, and then I say, okay, tall, tell me 
in what stock I need to, you know, uh, invest or what, what girl should I marry or whatever. I mean, it's just, you can't submit to something you created. You are created that. That's like right. God coming down and say, you know what? I'm just, watch what you guys do with me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I'm not going to relinquish all my power and I just see what you guys do with me. And it's impossible. Yeah. You know? Right. So that's what's going to, that's kind of like the AI thing. The threshold though is when does, when the AI says, Hey, you are the problem versus does the human accept the AI saying that they are the problem? What happens at that crux? I think we're saying already we are the problem because we have no value for us. We, we we don't think you're worthy. I mean, I mean, the fact that you submit to a system that you say, I'm going to die for this and that, you have no value. You, you Even you created that, you, you created that state, that, that military, that whatever, and you say, I'm going to die for it. I mean, dying for a thought. You, you need to exist to even... You know, it, it, it's for thought. That's a, a mind construct. You make it a mind construct. Say, you know, you. I think you should. Have, and the other people say, I think you didn't work. The system says you think you didn't work or didn't do that correctly. You must die. This, uh, how can we allow uh, something that we created to, de to define our lives of life and death? I'm not saying having influence. You're not all. Oh, we need order and, and rules and whatever. That's a different story. But how can we make this? It's like, okay, we have a rule in place that when you do this, you die, you're going to get killed. The rest is insane. Yeah. Yeah. And we are so, not aware because if we were aware that we, we honor ourselves, this wouldn't happen, you know? So that brings us to the great point. We're, we're on a collision course with that intersection where the ai says we're the problem humans yeah. have either accept or don't accept from the ai they may tell themselves at home like yeah we're us we fucking up but do you accept the ai saying because what's going to happen there ultimately the next step is elimination something yeah. thereafter must be eliminated by one side or the other and that's where yeah. you get the terminator movies and the yeah. you know all that stuff so the physical removal, They're, the removal of the hum humanity from the workforce replaced by robots, right? The, re the removal of I, this, everything. How does the system eliminate? Okay, so the system doesn't really eliminate because we created it. Okay. So without humans, the system can't exist. And AI is nothing else that, but an amplifier for humanness because humans programmed AI. So it is basically uh, humans and steroids with all our foibles and our, our, our talents. So whatever we program uh, and the self-learning and all this stuff is all based on human history, on human, how humans think. We Because we could, oh, look, if Martians came down and said, you know, we want to make the perfect we're human, we're going to give you an AI that is not influenced by you or whatever, but it's getting you on the right path. I would be all for AI, but AI is nothing else but because we're creating it and we're programming it as an amplification of valuable humans. And you want to have that, the, the power over us. So you're going to, it's like a metaverse. We are already in a metaverse, like the systems. And now you want to go into another metaverse. You, we are completely lost. We as are in a metaverse. So below. Yeah, exactly. And, and and so we are so we're so lost as as it is. So all that stuff we we know we can eradicate ourselves. We don't have to prove that. We have to just see that through systems we blind each other. That oh, it's the system is the bad thing. IRS is bad. You know, uh, you know that company fired me. That's bad. On the other side of systems, I'm humans too. So we're playing a game. We're playing Monopoly. Not knowing that we play a monopoly, and that's the insane sanity of it. Yeah, yeah. And it's nobody yeah. faulting. It's nobody's bad. It's just we are not aware. You know? No matter what you achieve, there's always going to be good or bad. There's going to be somebody over there waiting to say that's what you get. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mike. We we got twenty seconds left. Give him a closing statement here. 
I think I think the awareness is the key. I think uh, we produce more things now and really get get that from that episode that we 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 produce more things and we can't have the, we don't have the time to find it to 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 get to to know the service to buy it even if you had all the money. There's no it is like this episode. How many people are seeing that? It doesn't really matter, but how many people are seeing this, you know? And and, and they, they can't find it. If yeah. you and I created the be- a better iPhone, if we, people can't find it and don't have the time to find it or look at it, we're not selling a, a single phone. That's true, Mike. Hey, the, it's not about how many see it. It's about who see it. The right people get it. They can do the right things with it. Pasha Paro, YNS7, thank you for tuning. Mike, description.